Hello everyone, welcome back to Venus Tech channel. As an iOS person who always chooses iOS over Android, I've always had a soft spot for the Note series of Samsung. Last year, when I held S22 Ultra in my hands, I fell in love with it. And this year, with all the rumors and the leaks, something tells me that I'm gonna love S23 Ultra so much more. First of all, I need to say that all of these things that I'm about to say are only based on leaks and rumors and we don't know anything for sure. And most of these leaks come from the Leaker Ice universe and a lot of others. So let's talk. It seems that it's gonna be very identical to S22 Ultra and we won't have any major changes in design, which is good, I already love the design, but somehow they made it less slippery, which is good because you kind of couldn't hold it in your hands, it would just slip off. And one thing that I really want them to change, hopefully they made it better, is that uh, I, I've heard some complaints about having um, scratches on the back of S22 Ultra in some colors. Um, so hopefully they made it better this year. Uh, so that's for the design. S22 Ultra already had the best display. I mean, that was what made me so mad at Apple. I mean, come on Apple, I'm one of your biggest fans, but having a 60 Hertz display in 2022 is unexplainable. I mean, I don't know what you're doing, but this display, S22 Ultra's display, was the best thing that I've worked with. And this year, somehow they made it even better. I mean, they said that it's gonna be brighter, especially now that they showed off uh, their UDR displays. I don't know if they uh, come out in time for S23 Ultra, but if it comes out in time, it's gonna be a really good competitor for iPhone 14 Pro in watching HDR contents or in general, uh, looking at the display and see everything even in the brightest situation like under the sun or anywhere it's just the best display I think one of the biggest and definitely the most interesting changes about this phone is definitely the camera I mean it is said that it's gonna be a 200 megapixel sensor but the issue here is that three years ago when we had the first 108 sensor on S20 Ultra there were some problems that the software weren't compatible with the sensor. So we had some focus picking issues and some other things, but they all became better. So now I'm hoping that we don't have that problem with this sensor, hopefully we don't have it, but I'm hopeful that even if we have it, we're gonna have it fixed sooner than the other one. Another thing is that Samsung increased their space zoom from 100 times to 150 times. And the other thing is that one thing that we really loved about S22 Ultra were the photography in low light situations. Having a bigger sensor means absorbing more light. So this means we're gonna have better photos in low light situations, which is great because already we had it in S22 Ultra and we loved it about that. So now we're gonna have even better photos in low light situations. Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 was made by Samsung, but Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is made by TSMC, which means we're gonna have a better chipset that has lower temperature, higher performance by 40% and much better battery life. This chipset, alongside with the GPU and the upgrades that we have on GPU, means that the S23 Ultra is gonna outperform iPhone 14 Pro. So, I don't know what I have to say more. This one is gonna be amazing and I'm really excited for it to come out and see all the changes and review it. So if you wanna see our review on this phone, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment and tell us what do you think about this phone and which one of these features are you most excited about.